Hi everyone, so in this video I'm sitting under an apple tree and I also want to check out the FMS FCX 24M and especially it's the fully licensed Range Rover that came out a while ago uh, and I haven't checked it out yet so have fun checking it out with me together. And here it is, and on the box we can also see the other models. Our model is the Range Rover in the middle there. And oh my, do they look good. And they even have an official license by Land Rover. So here you can get a glimpse of the other ones. Leave a note in the comment if you want me to review the others as well. Oh, the sticker says we have the Range Rover first generation and it's ready to run and yellow. Let's see what else is written on the box. Yeah, we have the license, we have a new chassis, we have the metal beam and we have the full metal gear drivetrain, the hard body, which I would love to have too, and two speeds. Oh yeah, the uh, roof rack is pre-installed. And on the bottom it says you can still buy more extras. Got this model for about 130 euro and my oh my do we get a lot of for that. So let's look inside what we get. First of all we have a set of stickers with the flags of a few countries. Instruction manual to read before going to bed. I still wish they could make the packaging out of cardboard instead of styrofoam but oh this looks good. But more on that later. Here is a USB charger with 1000 milliamp hours that should be okay because the battery is not really huge. And a wrenching tool. And then there's also the remote. It is small but not tiny. The batteries go in here. The switch for the speeds is right here. Steering feels good in my hand and is easy to reach for one handed steering. Steering trim and steering dual rate and throttle trim. And a button to reverse everything and a binding button and of course the power switch. So that's it so far from the remote and uh, yeah I like this little carbon looky outside. And we have those allen keys. They do look a little bit rusty though. It says tools on the bag. And then we also have those cheese graters or sand boards which you put under your tires when you're stuck. They don't feel too cheap. And a spare Bear gear, which well, that's kind of cool. A tiny screwdriver. And another pair of Allen keys, but they're not rusty this time. I don't assume that it's supposed to be like that in every box. feel grippy and squishy, probably foam filled. They are not beadlocks as it seems. And check out those details, I mean like the wipers and then you have the mirror at the side and you have some interior there. The doors don't open but that's okay for me. And in the back it looks like you can even attach a trailer to it. Well okay let's have a look at the mirror again, I, I pretty much like it. This looks so cool. In an earlier video I already uh, reviewed a Land Rover which was not licensed though and the roof rake was pretty brittle but this one seems pretty fine. It has some flex to it, that's good. I mean at some point I will roll over with this car. And it has oil filled dampers. There's a velcro strap holding the body in place and then you just hinge it open. Uh, but it's really strong, my goodness. Here you go. So here's the velcro. Pretty strong, I gotta say. Wiring for the LEDs goes through here. A battery is held in place by this rubber. Ooh, that's soft. 
In the center you have the transmission right next to the motor and another servo for the speed. Here we have the 2-in-1 receiver. Ground clearance even without portal axles. With the car you get a 7.4 volt 380 milliamp hours to a LiPo. So the gear casing and the shafts are made of plastic but they are the good kind. And of course with RCA WD you can always upgrade. But for the money and right out of the box I think it's a good mix between the metal and the plastic parts. And it's not the cheap kind of plastic so it feels quite good. Let's take this puppy outside. Remote on. Yeah, I made a little mistake there. I left the switch for the speeds in center, which means you have steering but no speed. So now we know that. Oh, this is speed one or the first gear, if you want to say that. This is the faster it goes then. Now a little bit slower. Smooth job in a shocks compartment. And the modulation feels good as well, even backwards. Let's see that up close again. Now for a faster speed or racing speed. Yep, that feels faster. So I think I will start the demo in this speed and then switch to crawling later on. Have fun. So right out of the box this RC will give you a good price value and I would love to upgrade it as well. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a like, consider subscribing and thank you for watching.